this is Laura GB and in this Power BI video we're going to look at Q&A synonyms. So here we are in an incredibly simple report. Okay, I've got one simple table that's got a list of products and the stock. So I've added a Q&A feature to my report so that my readers of the report can click the button and ask questions. So I, off the insert ribbon, I brought in a Q&A button and put it up the top here. So if one of my users clicks that button, now in desktop we need to hold the control key, but they'll just have to click on the button. It'll bring up this box and I can put in how many products and there we are, I get a count of five products. It's great. But in my company, I sell toys. So lots of people, so things like bat, ball, etc. So we don't call them products, we call them toys. So how many toys? And I get a red line, I just don't understand that. Okay, so I want to fix that. Now there's a number of ways of doing it, but in the July update for 2020, the update for Power BI, included a new way. So let's come back into our report. I'm going to click on this chart here and I'm going to, on the axis, there is product name. So I end up with a title that says stock by product name. Well, I'm going to double click on there and change that to say toy. So now it says stock by toy and the Y axis has the toy label. So now when I go and click on my Q&A button, I can put into there how many toys and it immediately says, well, you mean product names. It's, it's given me the suggested question that I mean and it's given me a total. Okay, so that's pretty good. I like that. Next step is well, I don't want a different question to be suggested. I want that to be the question. So the next part is to move that from being a dotted line to being a blue line. So we're going to go into here, click cross, and I'm going to go and have a look under modeling. And there is Q&A setup. If you click into there, in here, there is a field synonyms. So if I click onto there and I expand my table, you will see down here under product name, you've got toy has been added and that's because we renamed it. Now, if I click a plus onto there, it will move from suggested terms to terms. So now when I close this box and I click my Q&A button. I can put into here how many toys and there you are, it recognizes it and it gives me the answer. And I could also ask other questions using toys. So I could put into here Let's put a space in there for list toys. And there you are, it lists my toys in the Q&A answer. So that was looking at field synonyms for Q&A in Power BI. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.